Huge breaking news just in. LeBron James has decided where he's going to go. He's decided he's going to the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, there's this for immediate release from Clutch Sports Group. They say LeBron James, four-time NBA MVP, three-time NBA Finals MVP, 14-time NBA All-Star, and two-time Olympic gold medalist, has agreed to a four-year, $154 million contract with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, yes, he has come to L.A. Now, uh, according to Adrian Wojnarowski, who's uh, not, to, and to my knowledge, has never been incorrect, but I don't know, maybe he has. Uh, his tweet says, Sources, as, a tr as trade talks have unfolded, Kawhi Leonard's focus is unchanged. He wants to be a Laker. So it looks like Paul George, because I talked about Paul George yesterday, passing on the Lakers, uh, rather staying in Oklahoma City. You know, he probably regrets that now. I'm not 100% sure, but he probably regrets that. This is interesting, because basically what this means is the Lakers are at least going to go probably to... Let's assume they don't meet the Warriors until the conference finals. Uh, they'll probably go to the conference finals, but they'll at least make it to the semis. We'll put it that way. They'll at least make it to the semis, uh, which is great. At least we'll make it to the playoffs. But this is interesting because now we have LeBron as a le part of the Lakers legacy, as well as, you know, because normally, you know, it's the who's the best Laker uh, conversation. You're talking about Magic, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Shaq, Kobe. And now you have to add, uh, you have to add <laughs> LeBron James to that conversation. So this is going to be interesting for that reason. But I think that he decided to stay. Um, he decided to come to LA because his family is there. Uh, and if you guys remember, Magic Johnson at that press conference was sort of giddy. He was almost giddy. Like you almost like could tell something was up. So he definitely either had a good feeling or I don't know, maybe he tampered. I don't know. But everyone tampers, but. It's very, it was very, you know, interesting to see the way he did it, and it did end up paying off. So Kyle Kuzma says, Lake Show at King James, let's go, my brother, let's rock. Josh Hart says, the show is back. Lonzo Ball says, y'all really thought he was going to pass up the greatest city in the world. Hashtag, the king is here. So, um, it's interesting. A four-year, $154 million deal, again, will at least be able to make it to the semis, Probably to the conference finals. It's still going to be difficult, though, because obviously having to get through the Warriors and the Rockets, um, you know, having two teams that you have to worry about now before even getting to the championship, you know? But if you get to the championship in the West now, I mean, it's it's easy as fuck. So what we're also going to see is shitty teams making the championship in the East on top of that. But crazy news. I'm excited on one hand because, you know... We're going to make in the playoffs again. Finally going to be back in contention. But I'm also like, ah, shit. Like, is this going to... Because this could ruin Kobe's legacy and this could ruin uh, all the other great Laker, Lakers' legacy. Um, and LeBron is not better than Kobe. Um, but yes, okay. So, LeBron James is coming to Los Angeles. I'm also hoping that Kawhi Leonard comes. If Kawhi Leonard comes, um, that that's it. It's a wrap. You know, it's a wrap. It's over. It's a championship. Easy money. No ch no chance of losing if you have both Kawhi and LeBron both on the same fucking team. Uh, if they're both on the same team, it's an easy it's an easy champ. Well, not, maybe not easy, but it'll definitely be a championship win for sure. Um, but he has to be traded. Recall so now that the Lakers already have LeBron James, is Greg Popovich and the Spurs are they gonna trade? Kawhi Leonard, their best player, to a, a conference rival? I highly doubt it. I really, really highly doubt it. So we'll see what happens. Let's just hope Kawhi Leonard comes. Hopefully we can attract more free agents too because we got plenty of cap space right now. So we, we just need to get more free agents. But now that LeBron has come, other free agents will come just like they did, uh, whether it be in Cleveland or Miami.